friends, welcome back to Playground. My name is MJ. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Gabby Hanna's I Dated a Pathological Liar. Before we go any further, I think it's important for me to express that I'm already in my feels because I read the description uh, before watching this video. I have not seen anything she's gonna talk about yet. But I read this description and it triggered me on so many levels, but I'll talk about it hopefully as the video goes on, whatever. If you guys saw my reaction to her Honestly video, um, I'm sure you noticed that I, towards the end, I kind of froze up a little bit. And if you watch any of my other reactions, if you've been following me for the last three years, before we even created this new channel, you would know that I never, ever, ever, ever run out of words. But I think the story started to hit me uh, a little bit, even though I didn't know the full story, like you guys left it in the comments and you requested for me to watch this. Um, but before that, as I was recording the reaction, I think it slowly started to seem very familiar and I thought, oh my God, I think I know what this is about. And that's actually why I said at the end that this is very emotion filled and I don't really know what to say because it hits so close to home and my situation dates all the way back to like last October. But it's still close enough and if you are watching this video and you can relate, you probably understand that it typically doesn't go away. It's something that just lingers on when you've been with some, someone or if you've had an abusive situation, you really never get over it. You take steps to get past it, but you don't actually completely get over it. This is already like a 30 minute video, so I don't even know how I'm gonna do with the like editing of this. So I don't want this to be like a super run on sentence just to get started. If you guys are ready to watch, definitely give me a thumbs up and let's press play. I'm so nervous. No man has a good enough memory to be, man, what? So I just finished the rough cut where I just got through all of the footage and boy, does this video need an intro. So I filmed this video She's months so ago. pretty, Gabby, like especially with no makeup. Me had zero Even with no makeup. This. So this was never supposed to see the world. I did it as a way to organize my thoughts, my feelings, emotions, feel like I could talk it out with myself. I know, might sound girl. Kind of crazy, but YouTube is my therapy as I right. said before. It's a mm -hmm. form of expression, it's a form of storytelling. Mm -hmm. And there was just so much stuff that went on with this that I was getting lost in it myself hmm. and I just wanted to try to organize wow. it for myself. If okay. That makes sense. It does make sense. Down the line and I forget a lot of this because I've obviously gotten over this and moved on from it. And I mm. decided, let me edit it and post it because you guys have wanted a story time for a long time and this is my career. You know, my brand has been, I have a really sh** dating life. So <laughs> I However, the more I got into the edit, the more... Oh, okay, first of all, some of the editing might seem a little jumpy or confusing and there might be parts that might be a little bit weird or confusing to you because one, if I had any actual intention of posting this, I would have really- Oh my God, sorry guys. Can I just say, just from watching, what is this? The first minute we've already got through. <sighs> okay, this is where I start to kind of interject. My 36 minutes, I feel like that's about how long my story time was. I did a story time very similar to this and I think for me, I had already gone through, gone through the editing process, I did everything and I just didn't post it for like three weeks. So I used to do story times every Sunday on the main channel and I didn't post at all. Like I just, I was nervous. I just kept thinking like, if I say this to the world, this is gonna be final. If I say it to this world, say it to the world, shame on me that I even put up with that or shame on me that I experienced that. Or if I say this to the world, it makes it real in my head. And it, 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 may, it means that I really cannot go back and ever have this person in my life. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Sorry, I feel like I'm already giving you guys a verdict and we haven't even watched the video. Sorry. Everything out and organized it like I do for most of my story times. But also, I had to edit a lot out for a few reasons. One, this guy left the Mormon church years ago. He was no longer a practicing Mormon. He doesn't believe in Mormonism anymore. His okay. family is still very much Mormon. So in case some of his family watch this, there's some that they shouldn't see. Uh... Also, I don't want to cause problems in his personal life with things he said about people he knows, people he's done behind people's but I just don't I have no desire to fuck up this kid's life mm. I know it won't catch up to him that's very big of so you there's 
parts that are confusing or the editing is confusing. That's why, but I did the best I could with it. There's going to be a couple parts where I jump in and explain what I was saying or something that I left out because, again, I didn't plan on posting this, so I didn't really organize it or think it out. When I decided to edit this, God, I, I didn't really imagine... This is like an emotional time capsule. If I was to film this today, the okay. video would look very different. I would sound very different. I wouldn't... I'm telling the story I understand that completely. Betrayal and sadness and anger. And yes, I don't feel confusion like too. Anymore, but also the girl this was months ago is not the girl I am now. And wow. it's honestly sad and kind of hard to see this like this wasn't that long ago so while wow. i was editing this i really went back and forth a lot as i realized and remembered how in depth and how really sick this all was hmm. should i post this should i not post this and that's the struggle as a youtuber though really like how much is too much this because watching this god whoa <laughs> i did not expect to get emotional in this intro watching this i'm realizing and remembering especially all the stuff that i finally flushed out in like therapy and with self-reflection and journaling mm. i was caught in a very emotionally abusive manipulative relationship mm -hmm. with a boy who i convinced myself wasn't that guy you know this kid when you meet him he just seems so nice and they always he do he presents himself is honest and caring and loving but when i just think back at, and i don't even scratch the surface of it in this video but mm. just, you know, yes it's like you can never you need like a whole entire life lifetime to tell the story and pretending to be someone he wasn't like you know from the beginning like he lied about what he did for a living he lied about what Okay, is this my story? Okay, th the reason I had to pause her once again is because I don't want to talk over her. One, I don't want to miss what she's saying, right? And I also don't want you guys to miss my reaction to what she's saying. But I already feel so connected to you, Gabby. Like, how? I haven't heard the story yet, okay? I just read the comments in my on my reaction video. I read her description just now. And I ta I've just kind of put two and two together with the music video of Honestly and Honestly Encore. And I feel like I know her already and I haven't even watched the video. So who knows? Let's just hold your horses, pump, you, pump your brakes, MJ. About everything. And because of how much I wanted a relationship at that time and how wow. vulnerable I felt. And because I was dealing with so much in the rest of my life and the rest of my personal life, I let that happen and i allowed myself to be in a situation where i was being manipulated and i was being emotionally abused oh so I'm my god that by sharing this maybe there's some people out there who are stuck in a similar situation and yeah. you're ignoring red flags and you're letting too much slide mm -hmm. and you're forgiving things that you shouldn't and right. you're letting people make excuses and you're right. making excuses for, for them yes like most importantly like a light bulb for you mm -hmm. and you'll be able to get out of that or in the future if you're in this maybe you'll remember this story that will help you then it's watching this girl honestly this is embarrassing like that was another reason i kind of didn't want to post it is because there's moments where i'm just like it's humiliating for me this is what i was saying earlier guys the reason as I was and I still don't believe I was that fearless, but the reason I did it eventually, I think, was at that time him and I were in the same country. I was out of the States and I knew I was coming back anyway, so I didn't really care because I was like, well, this is going to be the final separation. So I'm like, whatever happens, if he finds out, if he watches it, if he doesn't, I don't really care. But to be honest, we had no mutual friends and I had no no longer had social media presence. I completely deleted everything at that time. So I didn't think there would be anything that connected us back, you know, to each other. But someone found it and shared the video with someone and got... Sorry, I feel like I'm spoiling it. I'm just going to need to do my own separate story time. How's that? Because this video is already like 30-something minutes long. Unless you guys don't mind watching me talk for an hour. But I don't think any, any one of you guys want to do that. So if you guys would like for me to... Make a separate story time. Do let me know. That's going to be weird because that's not what this channel is for. But let's just go. Like in this story you'll see. I asked to see his phone. And that's not who the fuck I am. But he pushed me to like this point. Where I was somebody I wasn't. She's so pretty. I'm sorry. I can't get over it. And my vulnerability. And it's just. You know in hindsight. This is hard to watch. Yeah. And watching the way I'm telling this story. How just wound up and hurt and confused and just spiraling I am it's it's 
really, it's really sad. Wow. And also at the very end, um, I'm going to include an update, so that'll be at the very end here. Okay, so, so yeah, we do get an this update. This is actually really hard for me to post. It's really important. I saw that she had two updates with links in the description, so I'm like, those I'm going to have to watch on my own time. I just want, I wanted to watch this one because you guys requested it, and I wanted you guys to see, like, basically what my real reaction is because I'm, I've watched my reaction back and I'm like, that's so dull for a, for a music video that that's filled with so much and that there's so much to be said about the topic. I just wanted to be very sensitive because I didn't know her life and I didn't want to judge, you know, and I didn't want to assume. Um, but now that I'm kind of getting the end story and I'm watching this along, I wanted, you, I wanted to take you guys along with me. I'll watch the rest on my own time, but whew. for me to post. I was in such a different place mentally and emotionally, and I'm so happy to be out of that situation and where I am and who I am today. I'm so happy so for you too, Gabby. This is such, this is such a learning experience. Yep. I'm in this weird position where I do have these time capsules of emotions and lessons and stories. Sorry. In hindsight, oh, Ooh, hindsight really is 2020, huh? So yeah, hopefully. I'm not crying yet. This might <laughs> help somebody. I like this. This is so bubbly. About two weeks before I decided. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I know this is going to become a really sad story, but Gabby, I am living for you today. I know I said earlier she looks really good without makeup. I've already said that. But this makeup here, too, is like hot. Like, you're just a hot girl in general, okay? I'm, I, am, I have a girl crush on you, Gabby. Like, seriously. And I've seen her vines before, like, years ago when you guys used to ask me to react to this stuff on the other channel i have seen gabby's vines but never paid any mind you know I, I wasn't watching her for that i was watching her for the comedy you know and now i'm not saying that i'm watching for her face but it's just pfft, spread out it's right there so i'm just saying like thank you for blessing us with this face because with makeup without makeup you're still very quite lovely some of you guys are going to be like this is not relevant to the video this is how i'm feeling right now i'm just sharing my thoughts okay i'm sorry don't forget to like this video. Let, while we're talking about it, let me like the video now. Again. We got into an argument where he said, Thank you, Gabby. You know that you'll oh, I'm not subscribed. Let's this, fix that. And you love to attack people when they have no platform to defend themselves. The irony is, up until he said that, I hadn't ever even considered it. It never crossed my mind. Hmm. I've had three boyfriends in my life before him, and I've never made a video about any of them. So even he must have realized before I even did oh, that me. his bullshit was really story worthy. Mm. Suck his own foot in his mouth. About me. So this feels fair to me. Plus, yeah. My favorite part of my job is I get to monetize all of my emotional trauma. Hey Amen. Hold on. See, this is what I'm saying. This girl's already about to be my spirit animal because that's what I was going to lead into in the beginning. Like, first of all, before we go any further, I, uh, well, really, I was going to say that at the end. I was going to congratulate her for being able to turn her pain into profit. I'm sorry. You guys probably think I'm weird, but I don't care. I'm on team, hashtag team pain, profit from pain. I should start a website because you already heard in any way, right? You might as well help some people and make a living along the way. That's the way I look at it. And if I was any smarter and if I was still on social media, that's probably what I would have done. Got me a book deal out of it or something. My situation was also a little bit more complicated. I would say it wasn't so cut and dry. So again, that's a story for another day um or at least another time I'll, maybe it'll pop up in this video let's just let's just keep going set the record straight and get a paycheck I made yes a video about somebody where you could find i'm with you check 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 girl person. checkmate but i've never shown this boy's face i've never breathed this boy's name he doesn't even have social media so if at some point you think you found it you didn't oh also, he lied about having have lord have mercy stories like this no what, what it was with mine is that he knew i didn't have any social media so i never bothered to follow him on instagram or twitter or snapchat even if i did i've never been that girl that's like what's your snapchat what's your instagram like i guess i didn't i've never had those trust issues where i felt like i should have to ask a guy so you know wow pathological liar okay i see why now but i don't think that's fair if i was an author and i wrote a memoir and told the story in my memoir nobody would blink twice think right. twice. nobody would bat an eye this right. is a chapter in my memoir the time i dated a compulsive liar and also i want to start by saying that obviously in the beginning at least there were things i really really liked and loved about him mm -hmm. or at least who he was pretending to be we had yeah. some really fun times together but yeah. 
that wouldn't make a very interesting story, would it? God, I have a million stories that I could tell about this guy. In fact, I wrote down every time I caught him in a lie that he couldn't dig himself out of because he had forgotten the lies that he had previously told oh, me. Oh, this is and deep. And every time he tried to gaslight me or manipulate me. And this is how long it was. It's going to be a real good book someday. Speaking of memoirs, today out of all of these stories, I'm going to focus on two. I'm going to tell you a story of something he lied about continuously to me from the first two weeks of our relationship. Okay. Until the very end. And I'm going to tell you the story of So before we go any further, I can't relate to that only only because one, I don't I think that I cut it off so quickly that I didn't get a chance to dig up any more lies. Um, but I did go back and think about certain things that didn't add up later on. Unlike Gabby, I didn't I wouldn't say that this guy was my boyfriend type thing. He was someone I was seeing. But also in addition to that, I think that there's the fact of that it wasn't long enough to go through many episodes. Well, not really. I mean, if you're a pathological liar, you lie pretty much every day. So there's always something to discover. But in my case, I will say that I didn't catch him in too many lies because I don't think that the, the time period allowed for it. I was actually a flight attendant at that time and I was always in and out, like, you know, flying like five countries every week. So I don't think I had the time to be, you know, like to catch him. Does that make sense? But let's continue. Let's continue. My last straw with him and they kind of bleed into each other okay so before this point when we had met he had never smoked weed I don't smoke weed like ever I don't have anything against it it's oh. in California in fact it's legal everywhere now I have friends who smoke all the time so he asked me if I would get him high since I don't really smoke I've literally never purchased weed in my life I told mm. him that one day soon I would have my friend bring some over he could meet her and he could get high he asked me about it so many times and it just never really worked out one night he told me he was going to a party he texted me around 10 p.m. and he was already leaving the party and he asked me if he could come over and see me. I told him to come by. As soon as he got out of his car, he said, I got high tonight. So I laughed and I was shocked and I was like, what? And I told him I was super jealous because yeah. I wanted to see him get high for the first time. Uh, it's just a fun thing to do. So yeah. then I said, who got you high? And he said, some random girl at the party I never met. I don't even remember her name. Hmm. Then he told me that this girl who got him high tried to kiss him. And I said, you, you didn't even know her? You don't know her name? Very said, convenient. No, some girl who sat next to me asked me if I wanted to smoke and then once I did she tried to kiss me at this point I'd only been dating him for I believe a month and we weren't exclusive mm. plus he told me that he didn't kiss her so I literally did not care at all side note that will be very important later of course I literally only exclusively has female friends the only guy friend he has is his female roommate's husband exclusively uh, females he goes to movies with them he goes this to dinners guy with them. He goes to Disneyland with them I don't care most of my friends have almost always been exclusively men who I've never even been sexually attracted to same. or who I've not been sexually attracted same, to. Same, Gabby, have same. female friends. Females are cool. Mm. I get it. Yeah. I feel you. We're dope. Now, he also told me about this girl. <laughs> let's call her Pistachio. Pistachio. I have no ill feelings toward pistachio i don't know pistachio never met pistachio i'm sure she's great but he told me he met pistachio on tinder and i was like so you met her on tinder but you guys never went out like you never liked each other and he said no the first time we met she actually just wanted to hook up where i work so she asked me if i could hook her up and like that's how we met we were always ever just friends he wow. told me he had no interest whatsoever right away he knew he wasn't gosh guys this is so familiar in so many ways and as I said, kind of very similar to the video she recorded. She recorded my story time was very similar to it was very similar to the first part of her video. I never bothered to get back on the camera and beat my face and get cute like she did. I just stayed on camera and like literally I had to stop because my camera died. Battery was not charged. I didn't have extra batteries. I was just like in a really not in a place to do it. I don't even know what I'm talking about because my camera keeps stopping. I'm recording this entire thing on my blog camera, so... I'm getting very scatterbrained. At this point, I'm going to finish her story, watch it, and as I've been thinking about why the camera keeps stopping, I already have a story time that I filmed, but I think that's probably what I was talking about before the camera died, is that the very first original, I would call it a rough draft, the one that the entire world saw, was not at all put together it was like the first half of her video like that first intro part like she said all that thinking and all the analyzing that she did she took a step back she didn't post it she looked to see what she felt like she waited and gave herself time to do work and then came back and posted it I didn't do that I posted it a few weeks later and then went back and watched it and realized that there, there were just some things that I didn't want 
online there's there some changes I needed to make and so I made the changes and then I re-recorded it so you're gonna definitely get a watered down version on this story time I'll put the link here or down below whatever but this video is not to promote me I guess I'm just shocked and also happy and I feel a little comforted to see that like this stuff is happening all over the world to people and to see that she's using her platform to make an awareness of this is so like dope I think so Gabby, thank you so much. Before we go any further, thank you so much for using your voice to share something that's actually very important that a lot of people would be shy to talk about again and be embarrassed because you're like, how did I even, how did this ever happen to me, you know? And I was like, okay, cool, seems fine. Let's fast forward a bit. So one night he tells me that Pistachio had been texting him to come over and hang out with her late at night alone. And I was like, does she know about me? And he said, yeah. And I said, and she still asks you to come over and hang out with you alone late Suspect at night? And he said, yeah. Much? So now I don't really like Pistachio, but I would never tell him that he can't be friends with her. Absolutely. We're not really I get that. At this point, I get but then that. he offers it up. He volunteers. He goes, if you don't want me to talk to her, I won't talk to her anymore. And I said, no, don't do that for me because that's just going to cause a weird tension. And right. he said, no, trust me. Like, I really don't like her anyways. We don't really have anything in common. We're just sort of acquaintances. I won't talk to her anymore. I didn't oh, really boy. I was kind of uncomfortable about it, but the fact that he just volunteered that without me saying anything mm. made me feel like, I don't know, it made me feel like he cared, I mm. guess. Yeah. I I had no reason not to believe him at this point. Anyways, yep. let's fast forward. Typical narcissist, he's baiting her. Like, hey, one of my friends got hired to work where your friend works. Let's call that friend Lima Bean. And I was like, <laughs> no way, that's so cool. Now, he didn't tell me who got hired to work with Lima Bean. And I didn't ask because I don't really know all of his friends anyway, so it didn't make a difference. But not long after, Lima Bean texted me and said, Hey, some girl named Pistachio just got hired here. She said she got your boyfriend high for the first time. I'm going to give you a second to let that sink in. Now let me catch you okay, up. Okay, catch me up. that got him high for the first time. Stranger. You know, the girl he told me was a random girl at a party. Oh, by the way, I found out later that this was a party that she invited him to that he didn't know anyone else. So he was alone at a party. Oh, with this my girl. God. We spent the entire night together because he didn't know anybody else. The one that got him high and tried to make out with him, that wasn't a stranger at all. That was Pistachio. You know, the girl he met on Tinder who he said would ask him to come over late at night all the time. So not only did he lie to me about who she was, but he knew that she got hired where my friend works, which means... They still obviously talk and have an active friendship, which right. he said he didn't. Oh, so already, this guy, I can't. All of these instances where he lied about something that didn't matter. He went right. to a party with a girl who he says is just a friend. And right, knows, so why and why should you care? care? We, at that point, we'd only been dating for, I think, less than a month. Why yeah. didn't he just say, I went with right. my friend, my friend got me high. Suspect. Why would to say, I'm getting ahead of myself, let me yeah. continue. So yeah. I confronted him about it. He stood there not saying anything like a f***ing idiot every time I caught him in a lie. Let's move on. I'm upset because he's talking to this girl behind my back. Gabby. I who she was. She tried to kiss him. And then he tells me she didn't ever actually try to kiss me that night. We just hung out and she asked me if I wanted to smoke. He said she never actually asked me to come over late at night. And I said, well, why would you Why would you say that? that? Would try to kiss you then? Wouldn't it make more sense that you would try to tell me someone didn't try What's to kiss you? And point? he said he made it up to make me feel jealous because he was insecure because he felt like I had a lot of different guys that I could date. Uh. He felt like I was out of his league. I am. And he wanted me yeah, to Yeah, you really are, though. Too. So at this point, I have no idea I'm burnt what out. is the lie. Is the lie that she tried to kiss him? Or did and she be making up for it he now? wanted it to seem like less of a big deal so that he could continue to be friends with right. her. Right. Here's the thing about being a liar. When you finally tell... Oh, freaking camera. Like, it, it's impossible today. This camera keeps shutting off. Like, this is where I'm at. Still stuck on the screen. I'm just done. Here's the thing about being a liar. When you finally tell... The truth, nobody knows if they can believe you. Yeah, nobody believes over you. Over and over and over again that she never actually tried to kiss him, but he absolutely didn't want to talk to her. He had no interest in being her friend. The only time he talked to her was when she texted him to let him know that she got hired where my friend works. He said she's boring, she's annoying, he doesn't want to be her friend. Anymore. Oh, he's we trying to now. That night. Trying to we save himself. Totally ready to go. And I forgave him because at this point, I really cared about him a Aww. lot. I didn't want to break up with somebody just because Poor of girl. something that they were describing Poor Gabby. as them acting out of being insecure and dumb. Mm. Now, let's fast forward about three months. We were stuck going to a trip to India together, which is just a whole other story. In those three months, so much has happened. But I have Why do I feel like after we're all done, after this album, entire album, or maybe she drops a few more singles or whatever, after the craze is over with this music thing, I feel, of course, she's always going to keep putting music out. 
but I feel like we have more songs coming and story times because well I guess she did put two updates already in here so maybe I'm the one that's behind maybe you guys have the full story and she's closed the chapter and I'm just not catching up so just bear with me is somewhat contained so just know that a lot of shit went down and I'm so f over it but I literally <laughs> have to bring him to India with me but honestly the couple days leading up to and the morning we were leaving we were having a really good time and I felt excited and positive and he was being excited and positive he's okay. being extra affectionate I'm curious as to why she had to bring him spending time with me he's like laying on the PDA which I'm not super comfortable with but it was kind of cute mm -hmm. honestly we were having a nice old time oh and by the way I'm gonna get to this later but this was a little lie that he also liked to tell apparently I found this out the last time I saw him he was telling people in his life his friends and his family that we weren't dating but we were he wanted to see me every day he wanted to kiss he wanted to cuddle he wanted to hold hands he wanted to go on dates he wanted to hook up he wanted all of it then as we're boarding our first <sighs> class, i'm i'm, I'm about machine, to fall out he, pay a cent for. he had his phone next to me and i noticed he got a text from an initial weird everyone in his phone is saved by their first and last, last name, name. So, why <laughs> so i asked him who is that and he sat there silent and dumb i said again who is that mm -hmm. and he said mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pistachio so I said, why is pistachio saved in your phone as an initial? And he said, that's just how I have her saved. And I said, well, I've seen her full name on your home screen before. So yeah. when did you change it yeah. to an initial? And he said, the night of the concert. Wait, 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 what, 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 sorry, wait, got, uh, nope, we gotta go back. What did she say? The night of the concert, but where's the part where she says I edited it? Crap. And I said, well, I've seen her full name on your home screen Okay, I have before. to read that. So this is juicy. did you change it to an initial? And he said, the night of the concert. I edited something out for his sake that makes this confusing. Oh, okay, this was me. This was me all the way. But the night of the concert was the night I found out he was lying to me. About all that ish. Okay, back to program. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. So then he changed the name. You know, the night I found okay. out that he had been lying about her for months. So again, in case you're having trouble keeping up, I know it's hard to keep track of all the lies. <laughs> the night he got caught lying <gasps> about some girl, he told me he didn't want to talk to her anymore and wasn't going to. He okay. changed her name in his phone so that he could continue talking to her without me knowing. And he wasn't even smart enough to change her name in his phone in a way that wouldn't look suspicious. It's just idiot. A compulsive liar and dumb. You have to pay He's definitely struggle. both. Now hand to everything right now. Up until this point, I had never, never asked to look in his phone. But at this point, there was no way I wasn't. So I said, give it. And I scrolled up just a little bit. And <clears throat> she was the very first person he texted when we broke up the first time. And judging from the timestamp, it was almost immediately. And the reason he told her, the reason we broke up, he told her she was jealous and anxious of me talking to other girls. Gabby, I've heard enough. I, can I just cut this off now? I, I, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. All of his friends are females. All of them. He lives with a female. He bought right. all of these females Christmas presents. He goes to movie theaters and dinners alone with these females. And I never, never gave him a problem. I trusted him. I believed him when he told me that he wasn't attracted to them. The only time I ever had an issue ever? was the girl who asked him to hang out late oh at night God. alone, who got him high and tried to kiss him, and then he felt the need to lie about who that was, and then she didn't actually try to kiss him, but he just went my camera keeps dying i'm done okay so guys not only have i heard enough of this guy but my camera keeps stopping like i don't know what to do and if i switch over to my dslr now you guys will notice the change in quality etc etc so i'm gonna go and watch the rest off the camera whatever we can get in the comments and chat all about it because i'm kind of getting aggravated myself because i feel like i keep it, the, the camera keeps interrupting my story i just want to get to the end of it and see what this guy's about although i kind of already know where it's going so really I can predict the rest of it, but I'm gonna go watch it anyway. I'm just gonna have to do it off camera because this camera keeps dying. So in that case, I'm gonna close the video out by saying congratulations to you, Gabby, for one, having enough balls, <laughs> female balls, to post the video, for having enough balls to leave it up, because that's something that I did not do. Hint, hint, clue, clue. <laughs> Number three is having enough balls to keep updating us, and then having enough balls to 
put out the songs about it like you are just ballsy you're a ballsy creature and I know that sometimes we are we are not as brave as we look or come off but I still can't take any credit away from you because I still feel like what you did now granted you have a huge platform but nevertheless what you did still matters because I was reading through all the comments both on my video and both on your video of the uh, honestly and encore and I literally like realized how um, what's the word relatable this is for a lot of people but how it's also helping them because as you said with some people they may not be able to take away the past but some people it hasn't even happened for them yet so this is like a good example because obviously you have a huge fan base of most likely younger girls that look up to you and now they understand like okay you know follow your values and don't you know like don't back don't back down for anyone but most of all don't sell yourself short don't bend over backwards trying to be good enough for someone who was never even good enough for you in the first place i don't know if that makes any sense but i'm trying to rush you guys can probably tell so my brain's kind of scattered because this camera's gonna die again if you guys enjoyed this reaction and you like for me to make more Give me a thumbs up. Also, remind me in the comments, use your DL use your DSLR next time, MJ. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe. We'd love to have you. We're having tons of fun on the playground, and I'll see you manana. Bye!